He gives it right back to Scotty. Fakes inside for Rodman. A good pass, and Dennis puts it in. And he and Michael Smith get tangled up. And Dennis just very calmly walks away. Pippen uh, down underneath throws that ball up. And Dennis got involved early, and the official Bill Oaks taking exception hit him with a technical. Well, play was dead. Dennis Ever the instigator. Just a little light tap on the basketball. That comes under the heading of unsportsmanlike conduct, but the officials want to keep things under control here. They don't want anything to break out with just a simple tap of the ball. Very, very touchy on that call. The bad boy of basketball, Dennis Rodman, along with new wife and former Baywatch star Carmen Electra, held a news conference after finally signing with the Lakers. I have made my mind up that I do want to play for the Lakers. Are you satisfied, sir? And you can walk out the damn door, okay? Are you satisfied? Absolutely, I want to play again. You know, it's not about the money. If you prorate the contract, which this, this, young, this, which this young man don't understand, that you got a lot of guys in this league making $12 million. I'm coming back with a prorated contract that's only going to pay me a $495,000. After tax, you probably have $200,000. Is that a good enough reason for me to come back? Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, it's amazing. I'm not gonna never win in this game of basketball, right? No matter what I do. It's okay, Juan. One more. Okay. One more. It's okay. It's okay, Juan. People, people, just cut him up. Um, no matter what I do for this league or what I do for. Uh, uh, the game of basketball, I, I'm going to never win. And, uh, and in, in a situation like this, uh, a situation right here when I'm, I'm playing for minimum wage, um, after taxes, I'm getting, what, 250 um, And I got 10 charities here that I'm going to give $10,000 to each charity. That's $100,000. So basically, I'm getting paid $150,000 on top of that. And, and even with this, doing this right here, I'm still not going. I'm still not going with you people. Okay, this is not. This is this is. If you call this selfish, we got problems. What I've done for the last three years, gave the charity, gave four million dollars to charity. If that's selfish, you let me know. Okay, you let me know if that's that's selfish. Here's Kuko again. That's the sixth lead change here early in the going. And a foul called. Well, Rodman gets tangled up with Thomas. Thomas is not going to back down. He's playing very physical. Did a great job of boxing out Rodman the time before. They get tangled up, and the referee stops it right away. Good thing to do by the officials. And a double foul called Rodman and Kurt Thomas. Well, you can see Rodman does a lot of flopping. Thomas is just blocking him out. Rodman hooking his arm, starting all the contact. And then Rodman complains. He's the one who started the whole episode. Hardaway. Well, you want Thomas and Rodman really battling each other. You know, Rodman is the one initiating all the contact. The rookies, and he's a great actor, but he's the one who starts all the contact on the rookie. Rookie's posting up. Rodman. Well, I don't know about that. Rodman kind of bumps him right there, and then the rookie kind of comes back in and bumps him. Rodman trying to get the call. That's a good call by the officials on both those. Double foul, stop that stuff right now. Second double foul on Rodman and Kirk Thomas. And he had a technical foul on Rodman. Now Dennis Rodman is having a conversation with Pat Riley. Pat Riley saying, you don't have to talk to me, along with some other adjectives. <laughs> Rodman brings some excitement to the game, doesn't he, Vern? He was just asking Riley how he liked the Sox. <laughs> Stan Jabby explaining something to Pat Riley. Steve Jabby, beg pardon. Dennis needs to settle down and just play basketball. Enough for the show, let's just play the game. 
Substitution now for the Miami Heat. Askins comes on and replaces Kurt Thomas. Here we go. I think Thomas might need to cool down as well. Hardaway comes with a help. Thomas tips it out of bounds. Chicago will have it. And Rodman and Thomas are throwing elbows at each other again. Thomas has got to keep himself under control. Rodman is going to bump and bang. you got to just control your temper and just play the game. You know, playing against Dennis Rodman, I had always enjoyed it. He brings a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. You just have to not get caught up in all his antics. She already has two championship rings as a member of the Detroit Pistons. We asked Dennis, what is the difference between playing with Detroit and now with Chicago? In Detroit, you, you had the mentality to just go out there and kick someone's ass. Seriously, just hit, you know, your butt is ours. Here it's like, we can do it either way. We can do it physically, we can do it mentally. It doesn't matter. We're gonna do it. If we got we got the right stuff, we're gonna do it. The fall away, Jay over Elton Campbell comes up short. Rebound, battle for Rodman reaching in there along with D. Botts and Savalas. David Robinson. Having kind of an off night. He's only four for 12 now from the field. Yeah, he, he's struggling at that time, turning away. He got, he had good legs on the shot. He can't get anything to go down. It'll be Sabalas and Rodman. Rodman loves it out here. He said, Roof. A brick there. Perhaps a force. And here come the Bulls. Oh. And it's a moving screen. Yeah, he was a moving screen. He had to slow down there. Delaney gets a technical now. Here it is. Dennis Ritty's wrong on his call because he ran down and did not stop. There's no question about it. There was a correct yeah. call made by the official. He's and we'll get a look at it again he's right trying now. To set, he's trying to set a screen for him. That's really not a, the best angle. But he was running right down the court with Steph. Now the point is you've got to give the man some room yes. to stop as you set the screen. Yeah. So even though Dennis looked like on that replay he had stopped for a fraction of a second, he's got to give the guy a little more room than that when he stops. So here you are. I was about to say about Dennis Rodman has been asked many times about how great this Chicago team is. Obviously very, very great. But he has also said that he felt his championship teams in Detroit were better because the league was a lot stronger at that particular time. Seven minutes to go in the game. Ron Harper to the right hand. Rodman hustles the rebound. Bulls a fresh shot clock. Offensive foul on Rick Mahorn. He just wailed on Rodman. Now it wouldn't be offensive, but it's a foul indeed. And yeah. on Rick Mahorn, his fifth, fourth on the team. Remember, he's the one that got Rodman uh, involved last time we played. Uh, they got involved in a play, and there he is down low again. We're already over the foul limit. Watch right. Mahorn here. Some agitation, a little he's hold. He's got an arm around there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those guys used to be teammates. Talk a little bit about the uh, subtleties of Dennis Rodman's emotion towards the referees, how he can't even clap towards them. Well, he hasn't backed down tonight. A couple subtle things. He refused to get the ball for referee Jack Nyes. And he's starting to work on Lee Jones on some of the foul calls, so he's cooled off. Dennis Rodman talking with Jack Knees, the officiating group, and uh, Dennis and Phil Jackson exchanged some words during the timeout. Uh, I think he was saying they're holding on to me like this. What are they doing? They're throwing me down, holding on to me. Am I always the guy that gets involved in this? And Phil says, well, let the man come straight down. Tony, that's way off. Rodman the rebound. And he goes for the shot, and he gets slapped in the head by Reed. He doesn't. He's just walking away, talking to himself. So Reed picks up here. Is that his third foul? That's his third and fifth on the team. Here he goes. He gets the ball. Now he knows he's in close to traffic. If he can just jump up, Dennis he may get it. <laughs> Dennis missed two free throws earlier. There, that one flips in, and they love that. Rodman's first. You know, whatever reaction he makes, Red, whether he's <laughs> happy or complaining, he has to do it in the direction opposite the officials. Otherwise, they might call him for something. He was mentioning that earlier today. 
And he, he can't look at the officials whenever he's uh, demonstrating one way or the other. He's to the right hand. Oh, Dennis gets taken down by Reed. Least ball foul coming up against Don Reed of the Pistons. His fifth foul. Uh, Dennis goes up and he gets. Now that was. I'm telling you, that was Dennis. That would have been a flagrant on the side. So Terry Mills prints off the bench. Might have been a flagrant too. Had Dennis been on the uh, other end of that. Well, that's the reputation. They don't know Don Reed. Of the recent game, so yes. he's on the injured list now. Dennis Rodman picks up his second foul. Hand check, they said. So two fouls on Longy, two on Rodman. But Sally's back, and I expect he'd get a lot of playing time today because Phil would want to see before heading down to make up his mind on the playoff roster how John's going to fit in. And there's John Sally. Tony Kukoc takes off the jersey, and he'll come in the game for Dennis Rodman. He says, "No, I'm okay." That's a technical foul on Dennis. Technical on Dennis. So Bob Delaney tees him up. Here's the play. Dennis tries to get out in front, but they call him for a hand check. So Curry will inbound. They're talking about who the big men for Chicago will be on the uh, roster, and most people think it will be James Edwards and John Sally because of their prior uh, experience of going to the finals, winning two uh, NBA championships with the Detroit Pistons. And uh, Phil Jackson knows somewhere down the line, and probably right away against Alonzo Mourning, he's going to need big people. And then later on, could be Patrick Ewing, maybe in that second round. And of course, it could be Shaquille O'Neal. That's Rodman sitting down. <laughs> 4.6 rebound. You know, the fans will be here with lots of signs, and they will be loud, and one of their favorite targets, Dennis Rodman. They'll be all over the worm. On the court and in your travels around the world, yes. ever seen anything like Dennis Rodman in your life? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I would like to do, maybe take a trip to Africa with Dennis Rodman. And, uh, <laughs> And bring him back, I hope. <laughs> no, I'm going to bring him back and he's trying to see how my people will react by seeing him. Well, if you do that, we'll send a crew along with you. Back with more with the Kemi Matoma. Bulls did get their championship lineup back just in time for the beginning of the playoffs with the return of Tony Kukoc and Dennis Rodman with neither really producing in the box score. But Dennis Rodman's sideshow act was a production once again. Two technicals tossed from the game along with his jersey into the stands. But at this early stage in the playoffs, his Bulls teammate don't seem to be too worried about his behavior. The referees hadn't seen him in a while. He hadn't seen the referees in a while. So, I mean, you know, it's getting accustomed, getting familiar with the surroundings once again. And uh, I think he has to learn uh, all over again how tight his reins are. That uh, seemed to be under control. What he said wasn't, uh, you know, cumulative of, uh, you know, anything that would be a technical. But he got it. It upset him. And he wasn't able to release that. And that's what Dennis works with. He's trying to release that. So he had, a, he had a, some tough chances out there. He couldn't surmount it and then ultimately got thrown for the game. And, you know, that wasn't as upsetting to us, perhaps, as some of the play that we had that was disjointed out there in the game. So you weren't upset with Dennis and the way he acted in his first game back, and this you don't think will be a problem as these playoffs go on? No, Dennis will find a way to play. Dennis Rodman has his own way of preparing. In the locker room before the game, he listens to Pearl Jam, appearing to be at peace with the world. But only 10 minutes into the game, the time bomb that's been ticking all season explodes. Rodman can't believe it. And during an argument, headbutts a referee. He is thrown out of the game, but doesn't leave the court quickly or quietly. Dennis Rodman is irate. For the first time all season, the team is thrown off balance. Back in the locker room, Rodman is in a talkative mood. Perhaps too talkative. Rod Thorne, David Stern, suspend me, okay? You guys are so big, suspend me. By the next day, the incident is getting banner headlines on sports pages across the country. Who did anything wrong last night? I didn't do anything wrong last night. In my honest opinion, I didn't do anything wrong. It's getting too obvious what the league and, and the referees are doing. They're making me a marked man where any little thing that I do is a problem. And tomorrow, people look into black and white. Oh, he's done it again. He's, he's at it again. What is wrong with that psycho? 
And then on the sand, though, <laughs> I'm not crazy. I know exactly what's going on. There's no laughing the next afternoon when the NBA announces its verdict. Basketball's most volatile players has been penalized for his behavior. Rodman has suspended six games. The combination of fine and suspension will cost him more than $200,000. It's the third stiffest fine to that point in NBA history. And it may also cost the Bulls their opportunity to win 70 games. And Rodman now suspended. There will be no easy games. And while the team seems to hold a winning hand, there is one wild card in the deck. You gonna do anything to hurt this team in the playoffs? No, not at all. So what's your goal in the playoffs this year? To do what I always do, play hard and be Dennis Rodman. Winning four of its last five. Can't leave him alone. Dale Ellis. Oh, there go all right. Bill Cartwright and Dennis Rodman get into it under the basket right away. 71. Benny Johnson, yes. For two. And now Rodman and Roberts about to get into it, or Sigma. Sigma and Rodman. No harm, no foul, or no blood, no foul. I'm surprised it's taken a instant heat canning that one. There's the action. In a bow hug, Sigma, Rodman. And this is the playoffs that I... Williams off to a real good start. Rodman battling Williams for the position, and he got called for the foul, and just got hit for the technical. So Rodman gets the personal and the technical. Now, hook up. Now, Rodman is one of those players that, you know, is not afraid to get his body on someone. It, this is, if this is a technical, this is a cheap one right there. Uh, you know, it, and I know that because it's Dennis Rodman, but at least... Yeah. Mutombo got fouled. And a bit of a face-off between Mutombo and Dennis Rodman. Rodman's underneath and just gets tangled up right there and then doesn't let go. <laughs> for three, Willie Anderson, no. Jordan rebound. Foul by Morning. Michael Jordan is everywhere right now. Everywhere. Even telling Dennis Rodman to relax. Trying to basically throw Luke Longley out of the way and then going over Michael Jordan's back. But four fouls at this point. Rodman fighting for the rebound. Going at Dennis Rodman. See if there's a double T on this or what the, the situation is. Dennis. Double technical. Double technical. Double technical. Double technical. Double technical. Double technical. Double それに仕掛けたのがオバートだって言ってるんですね。ああ、これ非常に強い。ですからこのブルーズのホームコート、ユナイテッドセンターです。Fighting with rebound and they tumble to the floor. And now Joe Klein and Rodman have words. Danny Ainge tries to keep him at bay. So does a fit. Those call for this foul, but Dennis really had him by the arm and threw him to the ground. Dennis Rodman is notorious for making guys crazy by doing things like this. There it was. Dennis's uh -huh. legs. Rebound capped, and Rodman comes up with it. Gets it out to MJ. Derek Coleman there puts up the three. And Iverson caps it out. Uh oh. And Iverson goes after Dennis. Don't do it, Dennis. Don't stay with it. Scotty is laughing at Dennis. Right. Set now. There's a shot under the basket. They go. So.
So technical uh, stack out. For Kasner bounces ahead to oh, Leitner. Oh, oh, it's two. Robin, it's two. two. On the side. Down, he fires the ball over to Leitner, coming from the back side. They, they call the offensive foul. Bulls trailing by two. Jordan on the feed. How pretty was that? Pippen to Jordan. Two MVP candidates, and now Rodman going at it underneath with Frank Perkowski. And see the double foul is belong. We'll wait. Technical foul on Perkowski. Remember, we told you in their first meeting, Burkowski throwing by Jordan, who scores it. Burkowski goes to take the ball out. I didn't see anything after that layup uh, with Rodman and Burkowski, but something must have happened as Jordan hits the tee. Good example. Burkowski kind of elbows him up, and he kind of pulls him into him right there. So Dennis leans into him. Dennis knows not to raise his fist or anything. And he gets the temp's arm. That's probably where the call was made, although the official was on the outside. I think it's the first time this year that Dennis Rodman and he's now he's going to train by Longley. Somebody better get out. The Bulls have not seen Dennis Rodman like this since he's joined the club. He has kind of, well, he has fit in with the team, but he's kept. Some of his antics under wraps. Not so tonight. Well, he's a fiery competitor. He did not like the call. He threw his uniform shirt into the stands and runs out of the United Center. To he's not a good perimeter shooter, and that's the one aspect of his game. I know that he's been talking to the New York media that he wants more field goal attempts. Lee Mason. Well, Mason can't defend Michael. He's just not quick enough to defend Michael out on the perimeter. There's Rodman and Oakley. Well, Dennis is always trying to start something, isn't he? Trying to... He's the fighting bad boy of the San Antonio Spurs. And Dennis Rodman has been playing rough all season long. That's probably the only thing I prepare myself to do in life, is to go on a basketball court and, and just kick serious butt. And um, I think he's one of the hottest things in the NBA. But these two have more than hair dye in common. They share everything from pierced belly buttons to tattoos to their in-your-face attitudes. But there's just one problem. Dennis's longtime girlfriend is still very much in the game. Raging mental motivation has, at times, tarnished his play and his image. Been a physical series with Washington countering all of Detroit's vaunted roughhouse tactics. <laughs> Oh, Thorpe, oh, shoved off on Rodman and hits his third foul. He just took, took, put a forearm and laid him down. That's his third foul. Take a look at it before we go out for the timeout. Here it is, just to get out of the way. <laughs> Dennis Rodman heads back to the Bulls bench. 6-10 to go, first half. Chicago on top, 32-24. Rebounding is all about position right early in the play. Watch this. Yeah, right. Terry Mills trying to keep a body on Dennis Rodman, and they fight hard for the basket. Michael makes the shot, or uh, Scotty makes the shot. Now, the next time they come by, here is another body on, but this one <laughs> is uncalled for. That's three, and that'll put him on the bench. So they'll go small. They'll go with a real small team here. Throws it away. Darmon Gilliam. Chris Childs back the other way. The feet Gilliam on the ground. Rodman went into Armand Gilliam. Gilliam made the basket and the foul shot. The foul was picked up. And we got a timeout. Gilliam will be at the line when we resume. And so far, and now let's see if they're going to give him the timeout now. Apparently they are right away. Dennis still talking with the officials. And they called a technical foul. I did not see an indication for a T, or have they? No. They... I did not see the indication for technical foul, but apparently the official off the ball. 
must have called one. They are now going to take a timeout. We'll get this thing sorted out, and we should have some answers for you when we get back. 2.38 to go in the third, 80 to 59. Hugh Evans did call a technical foul. He did it over at the scores table quietly, and that's why there was confusion at the end. The Bulls, in turn, called a timeout right away because Dennis Rodman got mixed up with Rick Mahorn. Now, here he goes in. He fouls Gilliam right here. He, he actually, not Mahorn, but Gilliam is the man he went into after the play. So a four-point play uh, coming up here. The basket's good. Childs makes the free throw. He's got 15. And now Gilliam will go to the free throw line. So Rodman out in favor of Jason Caffey for a late push on that play. An arm of quarter. Remember the Heat had an 11 point lead after one. Jordan and Rodman. I think it was Jordan that got him first. Yeah, Rod was, Rodman fouled him hard, but he held him up before he crashed into the floor. It was Danilovic and Rodman with his fourth personal foul. Now this is a beautiful backdoor move. You see Danilovic moving, see? Here's the pass. He gives a good pump fake. Rodman comes down strong. Yeah. Third to Longley. Seven to go on the shot clock. Pippen for two off the glass. The bank not open and a loose ball foul coming up. Son, Dennis Rodman, his second personal. I don't know if the Bulls took this team serious when they found out that there's a couple guys not going to play or what, but they've come out here and they've shot their self in the foot here. They're shooting 41%, 12 out of 29, and they're giving them in turnovers by Dennis Rodman. Jackson had planned to rest his key weapons more this evening, certainly by this point. Both Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen say they have been tired, they have been struggling. Pippen averaging 14 points the last three games, just 28% from the field. And last week, Kevin, MJ had a 6 of 19 night and 14 points against Cleveland. That's where the benches come in. Tony Kukoc in particular leading them to the victory over Orlando over the weekend. In fact, Chicago's bench scored 41. Dennis Rodman enters the game. Of course, served a six-game suspension for the headbutting incident. You see that the fans in their tribute to <laughs> the worm with their red hair here tonight. Rob, Rodman's back for his second game. Played 29 minutes and had 12 rebounds. Larry Johnson. Oh, boy. Nice move. Rodman missed it, but he was fouled. That, by the way, was Charlotte's ninth turnover in a quarter and a minute and a half. The Bulls are right at the top of the league. They're in the top five in assists. And any time that you have total unselfishness, because your key players, meaning Pippen, Jordan, and Kukoc, all can pass the ball. That was a great pass. Technical foul on Larry Johnson after that call, and Steve Kerr will shoot that. Johnson's going to get another if he doesn't quiet down. Yeah, well, Ed Middleton just signaled technical again, but I believe now that one's going to be on Rodman. Oh, look out. Rodman quick. The official's quick with the T on Dennis, according to Dennis. He gets one there. He was involved in that altercation with Larry Johnson uh, as he had the ball down to the baseline. So now Dennis carries one technical, one more. He'll be ejected, as will Larry Johnson. Well, stop to think about it. He got fouled on the shot. What he, is he complaining about? Loose <laughs> cannon. I mean, I've, you've got to worry about the Bulls. You don't know when Rodman is going to get thrown out of any game. Yeah, now you see he's talking, you can see that he was talking to Eddie Middleton right there, but he did put him on the foul line. Eddie Middleton is trying to explain to him now. So they hit Larry Johnson with a technical, so you're wondering what can be so upsetting that he is continuing to talk because he's getting two foul shots. It'll be the Bulls know that they have a problem with Dennis Rodman. And the problem is he's such a great player, and he also is a major distraction. ...are billed as basketball's bad boys. There was a time when the Detroit Pistons refused to talk about their bad boy image. We used to talk to them and say, let's talk about it. They said, no, no, not us. Now, what happens when you become an image? You have T-shirts for $18. You have hats. You have banners. You have handkerchiefs. This is a multi-million dollar marketing business now. And Dick, you know, your mama used to say, don't grow up to be a bad boy. <laughs> Wanna bet? <laughs> <laughs> the analysts, just a few of the features available at http colon www.finals.com. Get all the info that you need at finals.com here from Seattle, Washington, the 1996. 
I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. See you next time.